Hi. Um, well, I used to be into the um, chasing numbers. I would call it angel numbers. Um, even if, well, I used to like see numbers on my clock. I'd see numbers on my car, my gauge, my whatever. whatever. A car would cut in front of me, maybe 1111 or 444 or 911, you know. Um, I, I, uh, yeah, so I started, so I, so I stopped watching that kind of stuff and chasing numbers a while ago when I was chasing that kind of stuff. I was chasing that kind of stuff and, uh, then I, I heard that voice, the an audible, audible frequency say it was like part of the great awakening, you know, um, wake up and worship the goddess is what the voice, was what, what the voice said. And that was like around the time I was watching Jonathan Clark. Um, and then also around the time I was chasing this number phenomenon where you see these numbers everywhere. So I started watching a channel, um, who's into the numbers, but they take the note, they take the numbers that they see and believe it's God speaking through them through signs of numbers. Um, trying to find that in the Bible, you know, chasing signs and looking at numbers and then looking in strongs and trying to find scriptures and think God's giving us messages through numbers. Like if I see a number on a clock or a time or I keep I keep noticing one 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 one. Oh God's drawing me to maybe he's drawing me to Psalms one 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 if that exists, you know. Um but that's not how that's that's not how God speaks because that's your well look. That's the elements. four twenty five. See I start seeing four twenty five, four twenty five, four twenty five. You know? And then I wanna go in Look in Strong's what 425 is and try to figure out a hidden message from God. He speaks through his word when we study his word, you know. But if I keep doing that, that's that's father that's father time. The God of this world, little G God, that's father time. Looking at numbers and signs, lion signs and wonders, Satan with all powers, signs and lion wonders. God warns us about Satan doing that. Um, spirits of devils working miracles, you know. You know how to find, try to find an occult hidden numerology uh, message, but it's the elements. You're looking at the physical. We walk by faith, not by sight. So I started watching the video of, of somebody who, who you know, thought was maybe it's a sister and they're deceived. I mean, I can't say that I'm, I'm not going to chase the numbers. I don't think that that's the spirit um, when I do it. That's not how he speaks to me. He brings the word. As he sows it to my spirit, brings the word to my remembrance. And he did this with the numbers. So these number phenomenon, I started noticing again, noticing the same numbers. And yesterday, seeing 666 a lot, okay? I know McDonald's is bad, but I did go to McDonald's. I did go to McDonald's. Don't go to McDonald's if you don't want to go to McDonald's. But yeah, I did go to McDonald's. Um, but anyway, uh, I started noticing this number stuff when I started opening myself up to entertaining it again. It's seducing spirits was seducing me. I was suddenly drawn, seeing it on license plates, seeing it on this, seeing it on that. Um, so I looked in the word to see what God's warning me not to go that way again, not to go that way again. to look at, um, this is somebody who else commented under their channel, um, like five years ago. Um, I'm just going to go to the scriptures and see what the scriptures have to say about all this stuff. Okay. Cause it's very strange. Uh, I said, your comment confirms much. Hope this helps. You're st if you're still practicing the numerology phenomenon, right? Greetings, my friends. Greetings, you know. Yeah, greetings to you. And Jesus Christ, peace and grace and mercy unto you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Beware of another Jesus, right? Least I fear by any means. As the serpent begallied Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. They come and preach another Jesus, you know, um, say like, I'm seeing one, 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 one everywhere. Um, I'm seeing nine, seeing, I'm seeing nine, 11 everywhere. How do you, how do you know? How do you know? You're just going to the scriptures. Satan can transform himself into an angel of light. You know, God said he sent evil angels among them, evil angels, even a family member they know who died. The day that he died, his mother woke up at, his mother woke, woke up at the time of his birth. His birthday. You know, she thought that was God talking to her. A message of familiar spirit, a, fam a familiar spirit. And if I were to say, you know, maybe it is God. Let me just, as long as I look in the scriptures and, and connect it to the 
these signs and numerology, this occult numerology to find a message, a hidden meaning, you know, something God's trying to speak to me. As long as I look in Strong's and look up the scriptures with these numbers, then it's okay. How do you know? How, how do you know it's not Satan leading you into a false doctrine like a pre-trib rapture? I don't believe there's a pre-trib rapture. I think we're going to be here for that. Yeah. I'm just, I have to go. I have to go by uh, what the Spirit has shown me. So, here's what he's showing me since I started noticing these numbers again. Watching somebody, I was picked up on a seducing spirit, a familiar spirit. Familiar spirit is very familiar to me. Because why am I noticing it now um, after I started watching this person who also talks about this kind of stuff again? Again. So, I said, greetings, my friends. What do you think of this? What do you think of this yesterday? This happened yesterday, okay? Thank you. Testing all spirits. You got to try the spirit by the spirit that's in you, right? Um, make sure it's not another Jesus or a deception, okay? Um, as Jesus commands that we do. So I started listening to someone who uses numbers, numerology, this number phenomenon, but looks for the hidden meaning using Strong's, the concordance, I guess, as a message from Jesus, right? Sounds good and everything. Sounds good. Um, I believe this is deception, though. Um, yeah. Sorry, I, I do. I believe it's deception. I began seeing these angel numbers again, drawing my attention. Yeah, I didn't notice them anymore. Now they're drawing my attention again. Who's drawing my attention? God suddenly, <clears throat> you know, I began seeing these angel numbers again, drawing my attention to them since listening to this person. I do not believe it is how God speaks. No seeking signs. It's spiritual adultery. Yeah, another husband spiritual adultery um it is divination masquerading as light lying signs and wonders with all powers of deceivableness of, of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved it's all power signs and lying wonders spirits of devils spirits of devils work miracles that's what's going on today um this numerology stuff calling good evil and evil good put light for dark and dark for light but jesus said not to seek a sign you know the the sign was from jesus we're not seeking signs any idea how to find Christian friends? Yes, my someone's wondering where are all the Christians at? Well, there's a falling away. They're dropping left and right that I thought were brothers and sisters, and they're not. Um, that's the way it is. Few there be that find it, but where two or three are gathered together in His name, there I am in the midst of them. So if you got a couple, one to fellowship with or two, praise God because that's how it should be. That's how it's going to be. You know, that's why He says two or three, right? Um, so this is divination masquerading as light, lying signs and wonders. I will not be seduced by these angel numbers masquerading as light. That's what I think it is. That's what I, you know, that's what I think it is. God shows me immediately to back away from this practice. So I started chasing the numbers. Not chasing them really, but noticing them. You know, since I've been watching her for a week now or so. Or so, you know, you know. And um, yeah, and this is what happened when I started noticing these numbers. The Lord, the Holy Spirit brought scripture to my remembrance because I'm already in the vine. I already know Jesus Christ. I'm already born again, quickened. Yeah, already. Already put, um, already, done. yeah. Um, I don't want to go fall away and walk with him no more and start chasing angel numbers. I don't want to be doing that. He speaks through his word. So the Lord spoke, the Lord spoke to me. He spoke to me with his scriptures. So it's either do I chase these numbers now or do I listen to the scriptures the Holy Spirit brought to my remembrance to show me things to come, right? So God showed me immediately, immediately to, to back off, back off of the practice, back away from doing that. Don't notice that stuff. Um, you know, when I stopped chasing that years ago, when I was doing this, um, it, the familiar spirits left, it broke whatever soul ties being attached to this phenomenon, and I stopped seeing that stuff. And now watching somebody and picking up on a familiar spirit that I, that I know very well. I've done it before. And now I'm picking up on it again. And you would say, well, that's God, Anna. He left, him, he left you for a while. Now you hear him again. Yeah, by, just by listening to people say they see 111-1444-911, that's going to suddenly I hear God again? No, I hear him now. And he's immediately, he's showing me to back away from this practice. So we'll talk about this slide five in a minute. She says, pass through. The number that she saw, it means in strong. She looked it up. It means pass through. So yeah, pass through the fire using divination, numerology, seeking signs, divination, angel numbers, lying signs and wonders of Satan. And um, 
you know, leading you into false doctrine. Yeah, that's what I believe. So in Deuteronomy, there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh a son or his daughter. Now you can have a spiritual son and a spiritual daughter in the Lord. So don't make your son or your daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or observer of times. <clears throat> observer of times. Observer of times. Hang on. It's, it's not just consolation and star charts. Observer of times. Chasing numbers. Chasing numbers. Observer of times. That's divination. A witch. Observer of times. Chasing numbers. Observer of times. Oh, look at my clock. Oh, my clock. My, my clock says it's 434. And then I just seen a license plate that said 434. Then my gas receipt said 434 on it. And it's 434 right now. And my birthday is on 434. Let me go look in Strong's and see what God's telling me. He does not speak that way. You who seeketh a sign. Wicked and adulterous generation. That's what he says. That's what God's telling me. Yeah. Or an enchanter or a witch. Yeah. Or a charmer. Consulter. Witch. There you go. Who are you consulting? Even though you're going to the word, but who's, who's drawing your attention to the elements? We walk by faith, not by sight. Who's drawing your attention to look at clocks and receipts and, you know, and the, the price of your, of your groceries and your oil change and your doctor appointment date, maybe your child's birthday, you know, maybe your hair appointment, or maybe you looked in the shoe and saw L5 and you're like size five. L. I don't like like this is chase this is chasing signs, you know, or you or you look at your tag, and, and you put it inside out or backwards, and it says something, and it's yeah. I I was doing this kind of stuff before. You don't want to be doing this stuff, chasing this number stuff, looking at dates, looking at numbers, and Satan's clever because he knows, you know, you're not going to set a date for the rapture for the catching away, because you know the stars are going to fall from the sky, and um, you know. You're going to know when he's coming because as we go up and they're caught up that are alive and remain at the last day, the wrath comes down, you know, and that's after the Antichrist and we're gathered there. They gather together against their, the battle of God Almighty, the battle of Armageddon. So he knows better not to say, oh, let me set a rapture date. So, but I'm being really, I'm, I'm being careful. They're falling away left and right. I'm being careful. So I'm a consulter with familiar spirits. So they're taking the time. See, observer of time, observer, observer of time, observer of times. Then what they're doing with the time, um, with that, with the, with the sign of the time, what they're doing with that, they're con a consulter of familiar spirits. Yes, you're looking in Strong's and looking for what uh, numbers, numbers in the Bi numbers in the Bible, but you're getting a message, a hidden occult, secret knowledge, secret message. What is God saying through his scriptures using Clocks and numbers, numerology, this number phenomenon. Yeah, it's a wizard, necromancy, you know. You don't know um, familiar spirits, evil angels. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God does drive them out from before thee. So there you go. Don't make your son or daughter pass through the fire. God will drive you out from before him. So I saw 666, okay, on a receipt. And I'm like, not this again, not, not this again. 666, man's rebellion. What did I pick up? Some seducing spirit. Yeah, some familiar spirit from before. But because I'm listening to this stuff and entertaining it for a little while. So 666 is man's rebellion, the number of a beast, the number of a man, fallen angels. Mark of the beast, it's all manifest. I need to seek no further entertaining these things. Jesus bless you to open your eyes, right? Not sure who this spirit is. Well, because it just seems very deceiving to me. Um, seems like the Lord is showing me something. When I, when I start seeing this stuff again, not sure who this spirit is, but make sure I don't do this. 666 is rebellion. There's a great falling away, you know, John 666. Want to look at numbers? Let's go to John 666. They fell away from the truth, right? The father drew them to Jesus. What happened? 
I already have the Holy Spirit. I'm hearing from him because when I seen these numbers again, the Holy Spirit brought his word to my remembrance. So who do I listen to? Do I listen to the Holy Spirit telling me not to be 666 part of the rebellion? Reminding me of the scripture from that time. From that time. If I chase 438, if I see this everywhere and chase this number. If I do that, observer of times, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. So do I be a part of the 666 rebellion and chase the numbers? Or do I stay where I'm at and believe what the Lord is showing me and the scriptures he's bringing to my remembrance and I don't go that way again and chase these numbers that I'm starting to um, notice now um, numbers again? You know, because I opened myself, oh, opened myself up to it. That's why. So, so who do I listen to? Well, 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 who do I listen to from that time? From that time. God's warning me to back off. Clear warning to run the other way. So from that time, the rebellion. That's my brother. He sent, he sent me, send me TikToks. Don't go on, don't go on don't, TikTok so bad. Don't go on TikTok. There might be a prayer on there. And literally right away like that, you've got nudity, perversion. It just, the seed, you know, it doesn't take root. It's just a bunch of... Yeah, you don't want to stay on there. It's not going to help. Get off of there. Get off, get, get, get off that TikTok app. I did. Clear warning to run the other way. So when I see this number stuff again, I seen it on a receipt, okay? Look at this. Subtotal. My total was 666. I never started noticing it before. I, for, I, let, I, I, I let the Lord purge all this crap out. All this that phenom number of phenomenon superstitions superstitions you know so on 8 29 23 so from that time now if i if i say you know what i'm gonna entertain this i'm gonna chase these numbers i'm gonna look up strong i'm gonna get this secret code see what god's saying to me even though it's familiar spirits spirits and evil angels and i'm consulting familiar spirits and they're using the word of god this is going on deceitfully false doctrine what's going on here from that time, so from this from from this date, six 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 the rebellion. From this time, I would um, not walk with Jesus anymore. Or I can listen to Jesus, and He's warning me to nip it in the butt right now. So six 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 is the total, and I'm like, wow, I haven't noticed this in a while. Then on the bag, well, fallen angels. God show God showing me. He gave me scripture with this. I noticed six six six. He's like, Anna, don't rebel. Don't from this time, don't from this, from this time, an observe of times, 8, 29, 23. From that time, 666, the total. From that time, many of his disciples, I'm already his disciple, went back. I didn't, I put my hand to the plow and I looked back. I went back to what I was doing before, chasing signs and wonders and angel numbers and doing numerology and occult and saying, oh, it's good. Let me just... You know, look it up in the Bible and see what God's trying to tell me some secret code about the rapture. No. Um, went back and walked no more with him. So God's telling me, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't, don't do that. It's angel numbers. So there you go. Right on the bag. My receipt 666. Right on the bag. Right on the bag. Fallen angels. So evil angel numbers. I'm not loving it. I'm loving it. I'm not loving it. Red flag. Fallen angels. Now here's, here you go. Yes, you don't want to be in physical adulterous relationship no you don't but you gotta look at it spiritually now too you don't want to be a spouse to another husband either a wicked and adulterous generation okay, have I espoused you don't want a husband and go a whoring after signs and wonders a wicked and adulterous generation seek at the sign numbers but I'm looking in the Bible it's okay um, yeah um, Satan transforms himself into an angel of light he'll use the Bible you don't want I'm not doing it Adulterous generation seeketh the sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, unto this generation right here, us. Um, but the sign of the prophet Jonas, and he left them and departed. And I'll stay clear of this practice. So I said, since I've been listening to you, I started seeing these numbers again. It's like picking up on a familiar spirit, a seducing spirit, right? A familiar spirit, and it is familiar to me, because I told you I used to practice this. So since I began listening to you, I started seeing these numbers again, and at McDonald's, at the receipt of 666, which is the mark of the beast, the number of the beast, the number of a man, on the McDonald's bag, it says fallen angels. And now, um, I could chase those. I could chase those. Um, Or, or I know the scripture is about 666. And, and the Holy Spirit brought this scripture to my remembrance. Like he said he would. He brought Psalms. 
7849 to my remembrance in the moment I saw that. He cast upon him, he cast, talking about God here, he cast upon them. Yeah, this rebellion 666. Uh, he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation and trouble. It's trouble. It's trouble. You think it's trouble. By sending evil angels among them. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers be transformed into ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. And then here's the person, um, Marissa, that I was talking about in the beginning here. And I said, I hope um, this helps if you're still practicing this numerology phenomenon. Here's her post from five years ago under that um, channel. A lot of people are doing this right now, chasing numbers. God has been showing me 1111 everywhere. Yeah, he was showing me that too before. Um, as well as 333 to observe carefully. Yeah, observe the scriptures and stop chasing signs and wonders, you guys, really. And today I was watching your video and I, I look up and it's 1224. Again, observer of times. From that time, they walk no more with him. You see, observer of times and it's 12. That's the elements, the father time. Don't be an observer of the time. I look up. There's a time. There's a time. Observer of times. Observer of times. And he says to observe carefully. To observe what carefully? Pay attention, you guys. To observe what? Look what it says. An observer of times. It's all manifest. To observe carefully. To an observer of times. An abomination. Don't do it. Observe carefully. And today I was searching your video. And it's 1224. And in Strong's Concordance, Jesus bound the strong man. Who are you following? The Strong's Concordance. Jesus bound the strong man. Jesus is the stronger man. Right? We've got to spoil his house. Who's the strong man? Concord. He's a con. The devil. The red guy. He's a con. Comes as an angel of light. He's got a cord. And he dances. The Concord dance. You know? Strong man. Concord dance. Yeah, so he's doing, you guys. Um, and it's 1224 in the Strong's Concordance, which means cross over. Cross over. Pass through the fire. He's given us confirmation everywhere. But who? Who is? To pass through? Now look at it again. Remember? It means to observe carefully. Look at it in the same chapters right here. To pass through the fire. Your spiritual daughter is passing through the fire. You are causing your spiritual daughter to cast be passed through the fire, practicing divination. Observe carefully. Observer of times. Looking at clocks and receipts and all this stuff. Time. Father time. So let's see. I hope that makes sense and you understand what's going on here. Now let's look at this. That's fallen angels. You've got Space Jam. You've got Space Jam. There's always a message here, an occult message, okay? You've got Space Jam meaning right here. Let's see what Space Jam means. The young boy complains to his father. You can say that's Lucifer and, and the tares. You never let me just do me. Look at that. The fallen angel message. 666 Rebellion. Saying to the Father, um, you never you never let me just do me. I don't want to obey your will, God. And there was a rebellion in heaven. Right? Michael Jordan, Michael and his angel. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. Then you've got the Ark of Baal. B-A-A-L. Right there. You know, oh, I can't say it. I don't want this video taken down. But Baal. B-A-A-L. And the arch. The M. Right? Aborted. Beetle. You know. You know. So, Space Jam. The Father never lets the fallen angels. That's why they fell. You don't let us, Father, you don't let us do what we want to do. Why don't you just let us be me and let me do me. Let me do me. Space Jam. Because in heaven, you know, there's a Space Jam. Fallen angels. You'll be Ellen. That does not sound good. The office, U.S. Coming to America. He espoused you to one husband. You got the boy, the boyfriend. Who's coming to America? This is all about the Antichrist. And then look at this, the brief answers on the big question by Stephen Hawking. If you look into his book, I read some of it for free, a few pages of it. Talks about wiser God and... Um, superstitions and he, want, he tries to explain things scientifically and I'm not going to even go into that you can look that up yourself if you want but there's a message right here in this bag if you want to you know from the fallen angels from the father who won't let the angels 
Why won't you let us do what we want to do? But their father is the devil. Office. The office. Seinfeld. C E I N. Seafield. Seafield. Coming to America. Well, 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 who's coming to America? Who knows the Holy Sea? This is Mystery Babylon Confusion. The beast of the sea. I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise above the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. You know, the Holy Sea. The Holy Sea. Sign fields means sea field. Coming to America. Fallen angel. 666. Rebellion. These are angel numbers. Uh, you know, I hope this makes sense. A lot of people are probably not going to like that. Um, you know, I'm not sure how that's going to make me look. But I've already chased the numbers. And then once Jesus, Jesus, the word of God, once he purged all that out, and I repented of doing that, chasing signs and wonders, observers of time, observe carefully, and you saw a time on a clock that said observe carefully. You're an observer of times. Satan's mocking you. He's an angel of light. He's mocking you. He's using the Bible. Yeah. It's not what you think it is. Observe carefully, it said. Observer of times. Observer of times. <laughs> um, it told you. It told her to observe carefully. Three, 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 three. Observe carefully. Yeah. Um, the builders that rejected the chief cornerstone. 33. The Masons. The Freemasons. Their rock is not a rock, even our enemies them, themselves being judges. So she saw 333, three, three, observer of times, which means observe carefully. And then a number on the clock that means pass through. It's in the same scripture, your sons and daughters pass through the fire. Using divination, observer of times. Yeah, um, that's what it is. Um, consulting familiar spirits. Consulting familiar spirits. It's the same thing what people do with the Bible. Um, people use the Bible in a witchcraft type of divination matter, manner where they take the Bible and they slow their breathing down and they just ask the Bible a question like it's a Ouija board or they're doing a seance or it's a crystal ball or something and they take the Bible and they use it for divination. Jonathan collected it all the time. He'd ask a question, he'd just open the Bible. Um, like he'd practice this. He would ask the question and he'd open the Bible and it would go to something that he asked. Who do you think is guiding his hand? Even though it's the Bible being used, they're holding the word in unrighteousness. They are perverting the word of God. They hold the truth in unrighteousness, um, using it as a divination tool. And then he just will ask the Bible a question, like it's a, like, like it's a tarot card. And he flips open the Bible. I've seen a lot of people do it. Jonathan Cleck did it. And he'd flip over the Bible. He does it with dictionaries too. Sure, you can do it with anything. You know, he, he would just... Maybe even a Harry Potter book. You don't want to do any of that kind of stuff. But they think just because they're doing it with the Bible that it's righteous. It's not. They hold the truth and the righteousness and they're perverting the word of God. And God's sending them trouble by sending evil angels. Evil angels. Angel numbers. Look that up. Angel numbers. And then they got the good side of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And they're like, well, there's the bad side. Angel numbers. Occult. But then if you use Strong's Concordance, it's God. That's good. No, it's the same tree of knowledge of good and evil. It's the same evil angels deceiving you. So he would ask the Bible question. And then just close his eyes or whatever and he just flipped the Bible open and whatever his finger would land on or whatever the Bible would open to that's the answer from God and you think well since he's using the Bible it must be from God no it's divination using the Bible as a witchcraft device the witchcraft tool using the Bible I'm holding the truth and unrighteousness that's what's going that's what's going on here seeing numbers observer of times observing the time carefully um, passing through the fire. Your sons and your daughters are passing through the fire. And it's no surprise it's on a McDonald's bag, which has got the bail arch on it, the M. Right? Well, you know, I hope I hope this makes sense, and I hope anybody practicing this um, repents. You know, just search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, of Jesus, and study to show yourself approved unto God. You don't need to be looking for um, things in the elements, signs, and wonders. And chasing that kind of stuff. You don't you don't need to be chasing signs and wonders. He calls you an, a wicked and adulterous generation. Adulterous generation for seeking signs and wonders. Right? So don't be looking for signs and wonders. And don't use the Bible in that way. Don't use the Bible as a tool of divination observer of times. I hope this makes sense. But um, I started doing it again. 
do do it again because I got you know a seducing spirit um, because I when you open yourself up to that it can reattach itself to you I mean it's a familiar spirit I'm familiar with that practice I'm familiar with the practice consulting familiar spirits thinking it's God that God's talking to me through numbers thinking you know all that's God um, but God showed me right away you know John 666 from that time from that time the rebellion 666 don't don't start chasing from that time you'll be falling away you know and not walk with Jesus no more I already have him he's warning me from that time don't go doing that don't go doing that I already delivered you from that from the sea field you know from the beast of the sea but yeah Satan uses his occult movies people like to decode movies and Illuminati cards we don't need to be doing any of that kind of stuff we need to be in the light children of the light we don't need to decode any of that stuff so what what Satan's message is? Who cares? We better have oil in our lamp and be a wise virgin if we're spending all our time doing that kind of stuff, decoding what's what Satan's hidden occult agendas, or even doing it um, as Satan masquerading as light and um, making excuses for why we follow angel numbers and, and saying, well, I'm going to use the Bible to follow it and think that God's telling me these things. Well, that's not good. It's going to be a fool. That's that, that's going to that's going to be a foolish virgin. You're not going to be ready. You're not going to be ready for uh, what's coming. I hope you know what's coming. I have oil in your lamp. I hope you know what's coming. I hope you know what's coming. Okay, God Remember? Remember in 2012, I think it was? Is that one? 2012? The great awakening. The spiritual awakening. At what stage were you seeing angel numbers? You know, then you've got the Christians that are like, well, when I see 2222, I'm going to type in Daniel 2222. It's a message from God. But you're still consulting and observing time. See, it's time. See, it's a time. See, it's a time. You're consulting a number, a number to show you, even though you use the scriptures, you're consulting a familiar spirit. You need to consult God's word, not an observer of times, and then go to his word to get a, to get a message because you're not, it's, it's a strong delusion is what you'll be given. A strong delusion that you'll believe a lie. He's going to lead you into false doctrine. That's what's going to happen here. So you want to search the word. Not consult. You want to consult God's word. Not consult God's word after you've, cons after you've been drawn by a seducing spirit to observing times. So you're being drawn by something Something else, a principality, to, to take in your attention and you're noticing a time like 222, 2222, 2121, 1111, 0909. These are times, you see, observing times. So your attention is being drawn to the time and then you consult the scripture. No, because there's something that you're consulting first. You're going to this number phenomenon. That's who, that's, that's, that's who... Um, that's who you're, that's who you're consulting. And this principality, even though it's using the scriptures, it's going to give you not rightly divided scriptures. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give you, it's going to give you a strong delusion and put a little leaven in there. So during the spiritual awakening, at what stage were you seeing angel numbers? This isn't something new. Look at this. They bend. The numbers signify the spiritual awakening. Walking in spirit and in truth. But what spirit? During the spiritual awakening, at what stage were you seeing angel numbers such as? I saw this now while typing this. Oh yeah, you'll start seeing it all the time. All the time. All the time. Because it's spiritual. It's evil angels. It's a strong delusion and God will give you over to it. Uh, the universe is sending you codes like blinking lights. They each have a pur purpose. Study numerology. When the student's ready, the master appears, namaste, and you unscramble namaste, it's me, Satan, you're invoking Satan. But the point is, even if you don't do the yoga as a Christian, the namaste, invoke Satan, me, Satan, well, peace and safety, then sudden destruction's going to come. Peace and safety, peace and safety, we're going to be raptured out of here, peace and safety, and then sudden destruction. It's going to lead you to a false doctrine, that's what's going on. Do angel numbers really help? I've been seeing a lot of 333, 222, 111, 444, 1234, blah, blah, blah for the past year. 
I did not, it did not make any difference. I see some changes in my lifestyle. See, they're, it's meditating. So they're like, you know, you can do the yoga namaste. You can do the cult with it. Or you can chase these numbers and uh, entertain them and use the Bible. But you're still being drawn by the, you're still observing times. See, look at, you're still observing a time. Numbers. It's still numerology. It's still signs and wonders. And it's um adultery. Spiritual adultery. So yeah, so look at this is not nothing new. You can find people chasing these signs and wonders. Chasing these signs and wonders. Um, numbers can signify a spiritual awakening. Um, it's unique to the individual. Blah, blah, blah. Why am I seeing angel numbers? Harmony, love, romance. It means the angels are with you. This is new. This is new age stuff. This is new age stuff right here. Even Satan used the scriptures and twisted them to deceive you, hath God said, not to chase signs and wonders. Did he? Did he really say not to chase signs and wonders? You know, but I keep seeing 44 everywhere. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Spirit's trying to get me to look up what 44 means in strong concordance and give me a code. And then when I see 55 tomorrow, I'm going to put those two messages together. And that's what God's trying to tell me. And he speaks that way. No, he doesn't. Um, Satan transforms himself into an angel of light. This is for the one world religion, for peace and safety. And um, these are not going to be ready. Uh, spiritual awakening. Yeah, spiritual awake, spiritual awake, spiritual awakening that was going on. Angel numbers, finding feathers. So did I. Opened my front door about 10 years ago when I was doing this stuff at a different house. And uh, my door was locked and there was a feather, a bird feather, bird feather right inside the house. Yeah, me and Jeremy thought it was pretty strange. Um, we also saw a bat flying around and it, um, like, uh, like we had like a, a vent, one of those big old vents with the big wide bars, um, at, on the floor, um, that was part of the house and the bat, we heard it, saw it, flew down the vent. Yeah, some weird, some weird, some weird stuff happening, you know, but it happened to look at the clock almost daily at 10.06. Yeah. Who do you think is drawing you? at that time say right now something just has me happen to look at the time and it's you know 420 and i'm like oh, the cannabis comes from the abyss you know or has me look at the time again tomorrow and i happen to notice it's 420 again yes yesterday i just woke up at 420 and then today i just happened to glance over the clock why didn't i glance over at you know 419 or 421 why at 420 and then you go to the scriptures to consult you know try to consult god's word you're looking at god's word but you're using observing of times to get to to um to bring you to the scriptures so the message that you're going to get the doctrine wrestling the scriptures to your own destruction um is what you're going to get because satan's going to teach you the word and he's going to divide the word for you and lead you here and lead you there and give you a doctrine give you a doctrine because you're going to look at these numbers right here don't be observing times but look at i i happen to look at the clock almost daily so you think this phenomenon look at this there's all these people during this great awakening they're just all being led all being led by god and god's talking to everybody now through the clock through observing of times and divination and we're just smart enough to know we need to take this to the strongest concordance we're gonna we're gonna go to the scriptures with these numbers. Then 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 God's talking to us. The rest of them, they're being drawn, but they can't figure out to go to the scriptures. So they're going to Namaste and Yoga and meditation and New Age. Well, Satan uses the word of God, holds the truth and unrighteousness. So he comes as an angel of light. Christians know better not to go um, you know, looking at the occult, the actual occult meditation and yoga and all that, you know, most of them know better. Some of them know better. So, so then you got the ones that are doing the same thing, but justifying it saying, well, I'm going to the strong concordance. So I know that these numbers that I see are from God. 
So it just works out that I remember that time because it is also my birthday. There you go. So it resonates with me. Vibration, numbers, frequency, prince of the power of the air, spiritual message. There you go. Spiritual message. Look in your Bible. Look up Strong's Concordance and let's get a spiritual message. Let's get a doctrine together. These numbers are going to um, lead you to a doctrine. To a doctrine, going to look in Strong's and you're going to have a bunch of messages and lay them all out. Like, um, and it's going to give you a doctrine with the scriptures, but is it rightly divided? Because you're actually running on observing, observing of times and familiar spirits. My spirits, so look at spiritual message or just something my mind notices. No, it's, it's, it's a phenomenon for sure. It's a, it's consulting familiar spirits. The clock will never tell me. So if I pay attention while driving, I see a multitude of different birds and animals. Spirit guides wanting to give me a message or guidance. How would I know if someone did not tell me so? The animals certainly haven't. Maybe just go to strong concordance and then, you know, that'll lead you to all truth. Not if you are chasing, observing of times and divination. It's God will give you a strong delusion. Even if you use the Bible, because there's another Jesus. If someone did not tell you the things you seem to attribute as an awakening, would would they mean that much to you? There is a teaching that you might find some wisdom in. Before enlightenment, awakenings, complete self-awareness. I chopped wood and fetched water. I chopped wood and fetched water. Um, why do I keep seeing twin numbers? Yeah. This is a one world religion. Remember? Um, they're the spirits of devils. Look this up in Revelation. They are the spirits of devils working miracles. To gather them, gathering all these people to the battle against God Almighty, the battle of Armageddon. So look it, they're gathering everyone. See these numbers everywhere you go. Remember the twin numbers because they're emotional response to you. Yeah. You know, what does it mean spiritually to be seeing 333 and 777 at the same time? Now look at, what does 222 mean? Observing of a time, 222. Observer of times. Understand what you're doing. 222, observer of times. What does 222, 222 really mean? Please don't talk about angel numbers or equations. Now, this person believes it's God, like many. It's the first number I saw at the beginning of my spiritual awakening. And then I realized they used the same number in the movie Soul. And look what they do. They went to Genesis 222. I keep seeing 222 when I had my spiritual awakening. So they go to Genesis 222. You're consulting a familiar spirit and then taking it to the Bible. Oh, Satan is just so crafty with this. Two, two, two. You're being, you're consulting a familiar spirit. Yeah. Satan is going to give you a doctrine through this. So they went to Genesis two, two, two after they observed the time. Divination using the Bible. This is divination using the Bible. In Genesis two, 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 that is the birth of woman. I think it means a woman has another world inside that can contain life. Here, remember I told you I heard wake up and worship the goddess? You know what? I opened my eyes at 222. Well, sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, I'm, I'm okay. I woke up, it was 222, 111, and seen all these numbers lately, okay? And all the times, too, but your brain loves patterns. Yeah. Um, if you don't believe me, take note every single time you look at the clock or you see it. Um, mm -mm. You know, we need to stop doing need to stop doing this number stuff. Stop doing this number stuff. See how popular this is? Is God speaking to you through numbers? It's supernatural. Is God speaking with you through numbers? Is God talking to you through prophetic numerology? Are numbers associated with God? What is the prophetic meaning meaning of numbers? 
Why are you doing observer of times and divination using the word of God? Consulting familiar spirits, observer of times, and attaching God to it. Ask yourself that. Oh, look, they even write books. Be admonished, my son, of the making of many books, which there is no end. They just keep, there's no end. They just keep making these kind of books, right? Much study is awareness of the flesh. You want to study one, one book. Um, the KJV, the King James Bible, the Word of God. Um, he speaks through your Bible. And if you're not satisfied and th that, that bread can sustain you and you need to look for things outside of God's Word and then draw it to God's Word to get some kind of hidden message, it's a cult. You're using the Word of God deceitfully. You're, ha you're handling the Word deceitfully, using it as divination. Um, and God spoke in numbers. And God spoke in numbers. There you go. And God spoke in numbers. The complete numerology guide. Looks like Jesus right there, doesn't it? That's another, that's another Jesus. One, two, three, look at one, two, three, four, six, and eight. Eight is the Ouroboros. Infinity sign was Ouroboros, the serpent eating its tail as an eight. And then you got six. One, two, three, four. I mean, when God speaks. Oh, look, oh, look at that. Look at, oh, the power of numbers when God speaks. This is, this is divination. This is a call. This is a cult. This is a cult. I'm telling you right now, this is a cult. The call to see with prophetic vision. Scene 111, 1111. Looks like you're all seeing it except for me. Maybe not all of you are seeing it. So maybe there's some of us that have repented of doing this, chasing signs and wonders, signs and wonders. <laughs> but look at scene one, 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 one. God speaks. Oh, this is a strong delusion. God, get God will give you right over to this strong delusion. The king's voice, or angel numbers, biblical. If you're seeing repetitive numbers, God says He declares victory over you. Yeah. So you kind of get the you kind of get the idea here where this is coming from. Yeah. Now here I just typed in. Now you know the six is a spiral. You know, the principalities and the powers of the air. Um, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places, right? The rulers of darkness in this world. But look at you've got the numbers. Why do prime numbers make these spirals? Right? The serpent, the spirals. Spir the spirals right here, but look at It's not just chicken. It's well, all. Well, well, look at Let me see. Um, let, me, let me see if I can find it in like a. Yeah, here you go. There's the six. There's your numbers. Oh, there's, there's, your, num there's your numbers right here. Well, there, there you go. There you go. There's your numbers. Where's this coming from? This great awakening. These angel numbers. And you can see these numbers and then go open your Bible and use the Bible for divination because that's what you're doing. But you are consulting familiar spirits because the spirits are drawing you into this abyss, this spiral serpentine, spiral staircase, this six. See, it's a six. It's a six. It's a six. Look at this. Look at all these numbers. Wow. And if you open yourself up to it, yeah, hold draw you in your flesh to look at the clock at that time have you go oh i'm hungry i want a burger then you happen to go down the road and a car cuts in front of you at the right time and has the same number license plate that you just seen on your clock five minutes before that but look at this the spiral numbers you think god's using numbers and drawing you to his word to um rightly divide you're using numbers to write sorry this video is so long but you're using numbers you're consulting familiar spirits, doing divination, witchcraft, um, observer of times. You're using numbers to consult God's word. You're using numbers to rightly divide the scriptures. You're using numbers to help you study the scriptures and to divide them, um, what goes with what. Um, you're using the numbers to show you how to line upon not line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. So at 2347, you're going to find a scripture. And then maybe at 3486, 
Maybe the serpent's going to lead you to that number and you're going to go to another scripture. You're going to use this. You're going to you're going to use the numbers um, consulting familiar spirits, observer of times to rightly divide the scriptures. You're going to let this principality, let this principality right here guide you in your study. Um, guide you through the scriptures to know what goes with what and what doctrine and to come to a complete revelation, complete knowledge of the truth. You're going to allow this to lead you to all truth. That's what you're doing. And you're calling it the Holy Spirit. You're saying all these different numbers, you know, the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit comes, he'll guide you into all truth, right? So you're saying the Holy Spirit's drawing you to these numbers and then you're going to use the numbers to go to go find them in the Bible, but you're allowing the numbers to be your guide. And this ob observance of time, this consulting familiar spirits is going to guide you through the scriptures to understand the scriptures. Yeah, that's what's going on here. But here you go. Here is where your numbers are coming from. That's where the yeah. That's that's where the hey that's that's where they're coming from. There you go. You're using the word of God. Spiral number royalty. There you go. There you go. Rotating spiral clock. You know, Father Time. A world of numbers, right? Let's just. Whatever, whatever the serpent draws to your attention, because your God will give you over to a strong delusion, and He'll use the scriptures, and you'll you'll believe a lie, and it'll be false doctrine, and you'll wrestle the scriptures to your own destruction. And look at all these numbers, Satan can He's going to just pull you right in, right into that hole, and you're going to have you're going to have this principality. This principality um, is going to teach you the doctrine. This principality is going to divide the scriptures for you. This principality is going to teach you the word of God. By numbers. By numbers. Yeah, and you're going to um, have yourself a false doctrine and a strong delusion. This is what I see is going on. I don't know what you see is going on. But this is what I'm showing is going on. I'm showing more that is going on, but this is really long. So I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, God bless you in Jesus.